Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by the garden today. We're outside with some of my inside house plants and I just want to go over some watering tips on how to keep your plants consistently moist because some of my plants just require consistent moisture in their soil and some plants I can let dry out and stay dry for a couple of days in between the waterings up to about a week, including my Dracaena back here. I have a Dracaena Janet Craig and a Dracaena Warnecke that both like to stay dry in between the waterings but I know it can be hard sometimes to see what type of water they need and um, to keep your soil consistently moist. So consistent moisture just means letting that soil dry almost completely down to the bottom. So this is almost dry completely down to the bottom. It's about moist from here down. So I'm gonna go ahead and water again. You always wanna go ahead and feel the sides of your pot about two knuckles down and then you know it's time to water if that soil is dry. So the way I water, I just wanted to get my watering can out and show you guys, is I just go ahead, put some water at the top and let it drain through just a little bit. And I let it sit for a minute. And that water is gonna go ahead and seep down to the bottom a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that. We're gonna go on to the next plant and water this guy. So I do like two or three in a row. And I just go ahead and make sure that water is nice and even. And these were all ready to be watered right now. That's why I took them out for you guys so I can show you how to do this. Now, consistent moisture doesn't mean sopping wet. It just means a little, a little moisture in this pot all the way down to the bottom. This, all this soil in here needs to be consistently moist at all times. And once it dries out three quarters of the way to the bottom, you know you can go ahead and water again. These plants don't like to stay dry in between the waterings and they don't like to dry out completely. So that's why I water almost when it's dry completely to the bottom. And then I just go ahead, give a little bit, and then I make my way around again. So I'll go ahead, water a little bit, let it seep down all the way down to the bottom. We don't have anything coming out yet. There's no moisture coming out of here yet. So we're gonna go ahead and water again. And it doesn't mean consistently moist doesn't mean like sopping wet all the time and when i first got into growing that's kind of what i thought it meant and um it doesn't so you know if you keep your plants consistently sopping wet at all times what can happen is you can rot the roots out and two you'll get a lot of fungus starting to grow at the top mold you'll start to see mold at the top which is why my plants that i like to that like to stay consistently moist I love to plant them in terracotta or a ceramic pot because they do have to stay moist for that long period of time, not like the other ones that can have a little dry period in between the watering. So that's why the terracotta is really important because it can breathe with all that moisture in there and it's not being suffocated. And you'll notice in like plastic pots, I noticed a lot of my plastic pots, they're starting to get mold on top because we live in Florida here, Central Florida, Zone 9B, and we get so much rain and humidity this time of year that my plants stay really moist for a long time. It takes a long time for my soil to dry out. So especially in plastic, and that plastic can't breathe, so mold will start growing on the top and it'll rot your plant out in the long run. So that's why I love using terracotta for things that like to stay consistently moist. Now this little, this poly elephant ear right here, I was gonna call it a little poly elephant ear, but it's getting so big. Um, this poly elephant ear right here, this is still moist. So with terracotta, the great thing about it is it'll pull the salts and minerals out of the container here. It'll pull all the salts and minerals out of here. So this way you can see all that white on the top right there. You see all that white? Well, that is all the hard salts and minerals that were in my water. This terracotta pot is actually pulling it out of the soil so my plants aren't sucking it up. So that's another reason I like terracotta. Um, and another reason is just due to the, um, the great benefits of having it. Your plants roots breathe and you can also tell when it's moist. So you can definitely tell when this pot is moist. It'll turn really dark and sometimes half the pot will be dark and half won't. So you can definitely tell when if this pot is moist and how moist it is by the outsides of the pot. Sometimes after a while like this one, it'll start getting really dark over time so you can't tell too much, but you can still feel it. I mean, this pot is really cold and it's really moist. So we're not gonna water this yet. Plus I can see moisture on the top. So I know we're still good. This has been, um, that's only been about three days since I watered that. And that's it, we're just gonna make our rounds again. So nothing's coming out of the bottom yet, but we're not moist at the bottom because we only put a little bit of water. And I just water little by little, let that water seep in. And then when you feel like it's watered all the way through to the bottom, once it starts draining out just a tiny tad bit, then you can go ahead and stop and let that 
process repeat itself and then you're good to go you guys if you have any questions on growing house plants or watering tips just let me know um, I'd love to help you in any way possible so if I haven't covered anything on watering for you guys yet just let me know and I'd love to help you in any way I can thank you so much for stopping by you guys I really hope this helps you to just keep your plants healthy inside I know it can be really tough sometimes with a lot of moisture in the soil it tends to bring bugs and diseases around so if you guys need any help at all I'm always here for you thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time out in the garden bye bye